Hi there, Joey from Day Job Hacks YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about one of the biggest and most important parts of any business, whether it's online or offline. It is the absolute first step everyone should be taking before they start doing any marketing or building a business. And I'm gonna talk about what is a customer avatar or a buyer persona, otherwise known as the ideal customer that you are targeting, who you're talking to in your messaging, all of that stuff, how to define that, and the steps you need to take to do this properly. Now this is one of the most important parts of business, especially online when we're doing marketing and we're spending money on advertising and we're talking and we're doing a bunch of content for people. Um, one of the biggest mistakes that I've made in the past and I know a lot of people are making is not knowing who we're actually talking to, who is actually going to buy the products we're trying to sell and who are we actually delivering content to at the end of the day? Are they resonating with our message, okay? A lot of people make the mistake of maybe delivering the right message to the wrong person or the wrong message to the right person or whatever it is, okay? But the, the point here is we need to understand who we're actually talking to and we need to resonate with that person in every single message, okay? So for example, we can have multiple different customer avatars or ideal customers for one single product but we would need to really start with one, okay? We need to define who is our perfect customer. And there are steps involved, there are specific things we need to define, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you an actual worksheet that you can use to help build a customer avatar for whatever product it is you're trying to sell online, okay? But first, please subscribe to this channel, it is all about making money online, affiliate marketing, marketing online in general, media buying, all of those things that they interest you. If you're trying to get traffic to your website, if you're a media buyer, if you're an agency, whatever it is, you'll get value from this channel, so please subscribe below before we get into actually defining who is it we are talking to when we're making our messages and creating our ads creating our landing pages all of that kind of stuff so I truly believe this is the first step we need to take when we're starting any business or starting to think about selling something online okay so I even say do this before you you buy your domain name before before you choose your brand um, b before you actually start developing content, you should already do this step first, okay? What we're gonna do here is we're going to f first define who we're talking to because once we know who we're talking to, then we, we know what kind of messages we can create when we're doing our email marketing campaigns. We know what kind of videos to create if we're doing YouTube and we know what their goals and aspirations are, okay? So then when we create our messaging, it's a lot easier to resonate with them, especially when, when we start building landing pages, you know, the headlines are important, the images that we think would, would resonate with that person. And, and all of the messaging throughout the calls to action are all related to how this person is going to respond. So if we know their goals, their aspirations, their pain points, that is the big one, what is causing them from not reaching their goals or not finding the solution to what they need uh, with respect to your, your particular niche, then um, we, we can't really deliver a great message to them. So let's go inside now, let's look at the worksheet. If you want a copy of this worksheet, simply go to powerhouseaffiliate.com, join for free. You will get an email, a welcome email once you join and you will actually get access to this worksheet as well as the free training we have on affiliate marketing, how to build a business online, all of that great stuff, okay? So you can go there to get this. But here's what it looks like. This is the actual first step I say in any business defining who your customer avatar is, okay? So it basically focuses on some major sections here. There are actually six sections that you need to define about your perfect customer, okay? So we're gonna talk about the demographics, that's easy stuff, you know, their age, gender, income, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna talk about their personal background. We're gonna show you some tips on how to find this information. Traits and attributes, we need to know, you know, what's in, we gotta get inside their brain. What A lot of people, you know, define this as like, what, what is their value, or what are their values, what are their opinions, their beliefs, attitudes, all that kind of stuff, okay? Goals and pain points, very important when we're creating our marketing message. We need to know what they want and what's stopping them from getting what they want, and we need to provide the solution to them, okay? That is extremely important, and this can be different in many different cases 
for the same product. So that, that means basically there could be multiple goals that your product will, will solve or, or solutions and you can create different landing pages around each angle, okay? I've done a video about angles, so you could be selling one product but have multiple different customers that would respond differently to different angles, okay? So this is where that comes into play. So I'll pop that video up so that you can see that and, and you'll, you'll know what I mean when, we, when it comes to creating marketing messages, marketing angles, all of that kind of stuff. Now you also need to know their objections. You need to kill the objections right on your landing page and in your ads, in your messaging, all of that stuff. Um, you know, what is their buying behavior and where are they consuming info? You need to know this, especially if you're gonna start creating your own content and developing a business online, okay? So these are the things we need to define. Now let's talk about the tools we can use to actually find this information and start filling in all of these sections in this so that at the end of the day, we know exactly who we're talking to and we're giving the right message to the right people, okay? so. One of the tools I first recommend you start with um, is free. All of these tools will be free. And the first one we're gonna talk about is the Facebook Audience Insights, okay? A great tool. It's basically telling you everything about everyone in the entire world because every, pretty much most of the world is on Facebook right now. So now is the time to use this tool while Facebook is still hot. Audience Insights, click on that. And now what you will see is actually a tool that allows you to f to search everyone on Facebook or people connected to your own page. We're going to start with everyone on Facebook and basically it's telling me everything I want to know about a particular niche. Now I'm going to use an example here just to get the point across. The, the example I'll use today is, is stress relief, okay? So somebody with high anxiety, you have a product, let's say, uh, about how to reduce stress in life or you want to create a website around relieving stress, okay, maybe, or meditation, whatever it is, all of these things combined could, could, could help this person relieve their stress. So you know that your niche is stress, anxiety, mental issues, so what you need to do now is figure out what, what are these people, what are they like, where are they hanging out, all of this stuff, who, who is the most likely type of person to do this? So let's look at interests first, and maybe we can find, you have to really kind of play around with this tool first, so mental stress maybe we'll start with if there is something or anxiety. You have to find something that is already in the tool here. Um, anxiety and depression, okay? So let's start with that. So as we can see here, 88% women, okay? 12% men. So it kind of gives us an idea that our demographic here is going to be heavily weighted into targeting women, okay? So if we're creating a website, we need to consider that we're talking mostly to women. It doesn't mean we're not gonna talk to men as well, but when we're creating our messaging, um, it's probably going to be more effective if we target th uh, that type of language that would be more uh, resonate better with women, we'll say, okay? Uh, coming down, you can start to see their relationship status. Another one of the metrics that we have in the worksheet when we're defining our customer avatar. So make sure you look at this stuff, their education level, all here. These are uh, interesting facts. And then you can start to see different types of jobs that are most likely people with high stress, okay? Now, when you're starting to create your ads and your messaging and all of that stuff, you'll know, okay, I wanna target people in these jobs because they actually have high stress, right? So maybe I can, you know, your marketing messaging will probably work better and you'll probably get a better return on investment when you start targeting these particular interests, okay? Um, coming down, there's another thing you wanna do here. You wanna look at page likes. This is another important thing to check because now you can see what they like, what they're actually taking in as content. Another section in that worksheet where we talk about what kind of content are they consuming, you wanna see what kind of page, pages these people like, okay? Um, this one seems to be freezing up here, it's not loading, but it'll show basically all of the page likes that people like. Once you find the pages, now you're starting to find your competitors, okay? These are people that have already targeted these people. Now you're gonna start looking at your competitors and seeing what kind of messaging they're using, more data that you can find to create your own customer avatar, okay? So that is one tool, lots of stuff you can do in here. You can find their locations, their activity, everything. Play around with different interests, 
different um, aspects of this page and you're going to get pretty much most of the information you need to complete the worksheet that I've shown you. Now, let's check out another tool that's really useful when we start getting into some of, other the, some, some of these other questions and, and, and things that you need to define as you go through their pain points, their goals and all of that kind of stuff, okay? Now, if you go to AlsoAsked.com, okay? So this is a great tool to show you what people are also searching for when they have an issue or a problem that they're trying to get information for. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to get stuff related to our niche, basically, and we want to make sure we're, we're hitting those pain points. So reduce stress, let's put that in here, hit search, and what you're gonna get is a bunch of questions that uh, this tool somehow understands the question and can spit out multiple different other questions that people also ask. How can I relax my brain? Can stress kill me? So this is what's keeping this person up at night. You need to understand that this person has a high amount of stress. It's keeping them up at night. They're worried, are they going to die from stress, okay? This is stuff that you really need to have in your customer avatar, okay? Because in your, in your, in your list, all of these things are pain points, okay? These, this is keeping somebody up and this is what they need a solution for. You need to provide that solution, okay? Um, look at all these questions, just a ton of them. Another tool because I want to I want to keep this video short and sweet so let's go to the other tool um, there's two more okay actually well not two I guess it's one tool but we're gonna use Google to help us so we're gonna go search relieve stress on Google um, you can see here there's a multiple different sites I would not focus on these big major ones like Healthline they're too broad you want to find a competitor that is not broad but very specific to your niche and as you can see here there's one here called verywellmind.com it's not WebMD it's not these big gigantic websites you want to find like I said this is a little narrow one so verywellmind.com take that domain maybe go in read some of their articles see what they're saying on their website blah 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 uh, and then come into a tool like this similar web and let's put that into this tool okay it's going to show us some more great information verywellmind.com and it is a very big website look at this 11.45 million visits um, average visit duration is five minutes which is actually really high I like that amount of time for a duration of staying on somebody's website on average the bounce rate is a little high though which is interesting it's kind of contradictory to the um, long time on the website um, looking down here though there's a lot of information you can get from this just simple free tool uh, you can see that they're getting a lot of their traffic from search which means they're probably getting a lot of SEO traffic coming down you can see yes organic it's 100% organic meaning most of their 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 traffic is coming from people searching in Google for information about stress okay uh, you can see they're also getting a lot of traffic from Facebook social media reddit YouTube LinkedIn and Twitter so they're using all these social media channels as well to get traffic to their website um, and here's where it gets interesting you're, you're going to start seeing categories these are other things that these people are interested in mental health uh, science and education so these are people probably in psychology all of those people that may be interested in stress relief so you could actually have a different customer avatar these are the people the higher education people the psychologists all of that stuff they are going to be interested in your website as well but you're going to craft a different message when you're talking to these people versus the person that's staying up at night because they're scared stress is going to kill them okay so coming down looking here topics again look psychology news, healthcare, college, these are all other topics that you can start to resonate with your audience when you start creating more content, okay? Um, so these are, uh, the, oh, and here we go. This is the, the last part, the competitors and similar sites. If you wanna really take this a step further and really get into the nuts and bolts, take these competitor sites and go into a tool like SEM Rush. Go to dayjobhacks.com slash SEM Rush. You can get it for free for seven days. Enter these domains into that tool and you're actually going to see everything they're doing about their website, how they're getting ranked in Google, how they're getting traffic, all of the topics they're writing about, all of the people linking to their website. There's gonna be so much more information that you can get to help you define who you're actually talking to when you're creating your messaging. Now, hopefully this video has helped you um, understand the value of 
un, of knowing who you're talking to because when you start creating all of the messages for your marketing campaigns in the future, this is what's going to separate you from the people making zero dollars to the people making millions of dollars, okay? This is how people have success creating marketing messages online, creating your, your landing pages, creating your ads, your email messaging, everything is linked to the person you're talking to, just like I'm talking to you right now. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, comment, share below, uh, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next video next week.